What is different in the new DB? We store most of the transactional data in columns and not in rows anymore. Let us assume, as Vishal said, that is so much better for many purposes. And the database loader will do this in the right way. This one goes there. This one goes to column. This one goes to row. And once we have done this, we connect the system with the ERP system in a permanent way that anything which happens in the traditional database happens in the in-memory database in parallel. So we have two identical databases. <coughs> you might think quite a waste of space and size. You heard that Vishal said, a factor 10 is guaranteed in compression. If we have a terabyte on disk in the traditional system, we need only 100 gigabytes in memory. Actually, in the total system, most of the customers I asked, they have a similar size in the BI system they have in the BI system as they have in the OLTP system. Think about this. We come back to this in a, in a minute. <coughs> Without changing the software, this is the new idea. We don't change anything, risk-free. We achieve at least a factor 10, probably depending on the application, a factor 20. So to add 10% in storage to the system, OK, it is DRAM instead of disk. But this is affordable. And it is 100% copy. And we can run, from the first day on, the traditional, the current ETL process from the new DB through this ERP system, because the, all these ETL jobs, they sit in the in the ERP system, 6,000 at the moment, I heard, and feed the traditional BI system. This is probably a factor 10 plus. You will know it better, um, faster. So we have an instant gain. Next slide. Then we put new DB underneath the existing BI, BW, or analytic system, and we gain another factor 10 to 100 in speed. We have not changed a piece of software yet, of your software. We have not touched the configuration, the customization, nothing. It's absolutely risk-free. Next slide. And now we start running something in parallel, which we believe is the way how future systems will look like. OLAP and OLTP is back together again. We are back to the first 18 years of SAP, 20 years of SAP, R1 and R2, where we had no OLAP system, where every information was accessible directly. Yes, the system was much smaller. There was much less functionality in the system. But R2, 5.0 was a pretty sophisticated system. Was still running a few years ago somewhere in America. That was the last customer, famous chemical company. Instead of taking the data out of the OLTP system through an uh, ETL process and load it so that we can report against then the data in the BI system, we do the opposite. We come from outside from the viewers, from the SAP, Microsoft, Business Object viewers, all the other ones, and use SQL and view builders fed by a meta system and access the new DB directly. So just reverse the process. What is the advantage? First of all, we have not lost anything. Anything. Everything what is in the OLTP database can be accessed and reported. We have no compression of data. We have no reduction of information. For example, I found out that most of our cubes we build today in the BI system build the aggregates on a weekly base. And there are companies who need daily data. And a bank, a trader would ask us, are we nuts? 
they are thinking in minutes, and actually we just found out last week or the week before actually it happens in seconds. So things are happening much faster. Whenever events are taking place in the OLTP system, we should be able to report them. So we are able to do this. We have done the, few, the, the first conversions from ETL through the OLAP engine, building cubes and reporting against them that we reverse that, and I will show one of the examples to you in a minute. And this works fine. Yes, the SQL becomes a little bit more complicated. But the ETL is not an easy process either. So where we have the complication doesn't matter. So if we have the opportunity to get rid of this cumbersome ETL process and have a time delay in the reporting system of hours, day, some company told us you have no idea how many days, um, so this might depend on the company and might depend, and it's not always SAP's fault, but a day is basically unacceptable today. Think about the companies who are selling online, like Apple, or, or all companies are basically selling online, and it, you get information a day later or a week later. So we use the business object universe to help us build views to go against the real-time data. In this configuration, there's actually no load on the traditional database, so the, the transactional system is not impacted performance-wise. It's totally parallel. It's totally risk-free. Let us assume it crashes down because the new hardware is not stable. All this memory is shaky and falls down probably once in a month. We restart the system from SSD. The restart is extremely fast with regards to our database. It's a little bit slower with regards to the hardware. The hardware needs a warm-up around about 10 minutes to just check the memory. You know this from the PC when Microsoft, <coughs> sorry, when Intel introduced the PC has to check memory first and memory got much larger. The startup time got slower. We told them this day I have to work on this. And they will. If, if we crash completely and we destroy the database, we just take the data over again. So there is no risk. Hammer it down, destroy it, we come with a new board and you can do it again. So I want to make this absolutely clear because I understood the customers when they said, even if we had the money and even if we had the time, we cannot take the risk. I turn this around. Now, who is not taking the no risk is probably making a mistake. The advantages are so huge. 